Okay, next news. Turkish, Turkish Atheist Association files charges against Islamist newspaper for defamation. In Turkey, the Turkish Atheist Association filed a criminal complaint against pro-government Islamic uh, Islamist uh, Yeni Akit newspaper for insulting atheists for an article published in the newspaper in February. The news article claimed that atheists evolved through several stages, transforming from a general respect for everyone to narcissism, then hedonism, and finally anarchism. The Yeni Akit uh, report violates the Article 216 of the Turkish Criminal Code, uh, the association's team of lawyers said, which imposes penalties for inciting, quote, groups of the population to breed enmity or hatred towards one another, end quote, by means that include denigration of religious values. Yeah, we know the people that did this. Yes, so I was going to say, um, Armin and I recently spoke to the founders of the Turkish Atheist Association. Unfortunately, I cannot say the name in the proper Turkish, and I apologize for my poor Turkish in that description. Um, so yeah, we discussed this with Onar and Selim. And um, in the recent video titled Islam versus Secularism in Turkey. So I really encourage everyone to go watch that video. They're both awesome, very inspiring people. Uh, and you, you can learn more about um, the details of this case, a little bit more about the penal code and what um, inspired them to put forth this criminal complaint. And also you can learn about the um, atheist refugee assistance program that they're starting that really needs a lot of support right. in Turkey. But let's but, go back to the news because yes. the the important thing is a lot of people read this title and be like, what the hell? Turkish yeah. atheist group fires complaint against Islamic Daily. That doesn't seem like it's going to go anywhere. Do you really think like an atheist group has any chance against an Islamic, uh, you know, Islamic groups in Turkey? Obviously, it's an Islamic country. This is a useless waste of time and money. What would you say to that, Susanna? Um, well, whether or not it has a chance, it's worth putting forward because if there is a law that prohibits or is meant to discourage denigration of people on the basis of religious religious values, that needs to be applied equally across the board, right? So right. when we were talking to Onar and Selene, they were saying we're not trying to prohibit free speech. That's not what we're about. Um, however, if this is on the books, that should apply to us as well. Yeah, and so the con the let me let me actually, to that let me say, yeah. So the the point is that um, they a lot of people when they insult Islam, they you know they keep getting you know sued or legally challenged in Turkey because of offending people's deeply held beliefs. I don't know if that's the, that's not the phrasing in Turkey, but basically that's what it comes down to. And people say, well, this how could it be? Like Turkey has secularism on its books, like in the constitution. So how could Turkey have blasphemy laws if it's supposed to be, at least pretend to be a secular country? Well, the way they got around that is like, they say like, well, this is not, we're not, this is not about insulting Islam. This is about, the law says you can't insult anyone's ideas, right? So um, th th what this lawsuit is doing, like, okay, fine, we are an atheist organization and these Islamic groups offended, like, insulted us, so we're going to try to use these laws to see if it works in our favor as well. If Islamists, if Muslims can come and say, like, um, hey, these people offended us, so this is illegal, can atheists do the same thing in Turkey against Muslims? And if... I mean, if it's successful, which probably wouldn't be, that's fucking amazing. That's historic. But if it fails, it will show the hypocrisy. It will show like, no, these laws are pretending to be secular, but they are one-sided. They're mostly to defend Islam. So this is this is a country that is just pretending to be secular. Okay, I see both Susanna and Rivka. Can I, can I read a little bit of the article that was defamatory? Okay, but after that, we go to Rivka. Yeah, so this article was like, pretty funny and it would be funnier if this wasn't genuine and it didn't genuinely put people's lives at risk um 
but here's a quote. Why do people become atheists? The, this can have hundreds of answers. However, empty brains, which often read scientific articles and disappear into the world of atoms, become atheists by being influenced by these articles. They believe in science and think that science can explain everything. And then they say that... Um, because Americans understood how dangerous the problem of atheism was, they did everything to prevent the world's rule from such people. In Western countries, they realized this and made an effort to protect their people. Um, they are very well aware of this, so they put in God we trust on every dollar, because one dollar will go in everyone's pocket now. Like, what kind like, of understanding... <laughs> Yeah, but the main part is the empty brain part, right? Yeah. Like when you say atheists are, have empty brains, that would not be allowed in Turkey if you were saying that if a publication posted something like that about Muslims. Exactly. That would that would not be allowed in Turkey. So Turkey needs to stop pretending like it's a secular country. Rivka wanted to say something. Are you yeah, um, I was gonna say that um, I thought that that this is. You were asking what's the value of this lawsuit. To me, it's similar to like um, the um, Church of Satan or um, or Satanic Temple, rather, or other um, secular groups or the Pastafarians or something suing to get the same privileges that are granted more traditional religions. And oftentimes those are used to, A, like you said, show the hypocrisy of what's going on or... Many times when those lawsuits um, come out and then the ruling is, well, if you want to give out Bibles, you have to be able to give out little, you know, Satan coloring books or something like that, which happened in Florida. Then all of a sudden, a lot of those laws or things on the books or practices that people do kind of disappear because they don't want to give that same public recognition or equality to these other groups, which is kind of in the United States, at least, and to some degree, maybe this is sort of what the Turkish atheists are saying. Like, if you're going to privilege something against one religion, then you have to give it to all of us. And if it turns out that all of us bothers you, then you need to step out of the public sphere by giving special privileges to one particular group. That's, I, that's kind of how I was reading it similarly to as to what happens often in the United States. Okay. Um, again, this is why we have Rivka here to add all the nuance at the end. This is, <laughs> this is great. See, we miss not having you here, Rivka. You should always be here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Shopam, Shopam, did you want to add? By the way... Um, no. Uh, the, the, there's just one thing. Like, uh, Yeah, everyone said everything to say there, but... From when Armin said deeply held beliefs, I was just, uh, I just recalled Rivka's movements like deeply held beliefs. <laughs> I wanted Rivka to <laughs> deeply <laughs> held beliefs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Uh, Susanna, by the way, a, a British Pakistani atheist is also saying, giving us another name to look into, a colonist. I can't pronounce these names. These are Turkish names. Thank it's a politician. Yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. Wow, no, British Pakistani no, atheist is giving us a lot of a lot of resources today. Thank you. Wait, anyways, this yeah, for, please yeah. bring that comment back up on the screen so I can write down that name. Okay, sorry. Okay, sorry. sorry. Okay, cool. Okay, I got it. Got it. All right, news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel. Why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button. But nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even you know, people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description. 
uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 